So that was what was really scary to me at the time that I got my negative ultrasound was the fact that I could have made up any story that I wanted and who would have been able to prove me wrong. <laughs> Town's probably gonna think that I'm crazy because I'm ah! at a little park on at a oh, oh, hotel on one of the main highways in a little town because my husband is working here and the boys are playing at the park, so they're probably gonna think I'm crazy because I'm talking to my phone right now. And there's like a bunch of like tourists and stuff coming for the Fourth of July celebrations. Jump up here! Oh my gosh, okay. This is really tall. Yeah, we tall. Here. Oh. Shoot, watch. Okay, watch. sit back. Hey. Hey. Sit back with mom, mom. Like mommy. Okay. You be careful. I don't pull. My baby went. Okay, so I just wanted to really record this just because, like I said, main highway. Um, maybe if I sit in the van, it'll be easier, but these little boys. Okay, so the main reason why I wanted to record this is because um, that the sheep, Mom? Yeah, that's Daddy's Jeep because he's working. You see him over there? Yeah. I see him. He's over there. I see him. Um, is the the main reason I wanted to make this video is because I see him. Be careful. Look at so. I'm so distracted right now. And you can't even see my face. Um, ugh, this is like really awkward. I feel weird. Um, yeah, maybe I will go in my van. Hold on. Okay, so it just felt really weird holding the camera or my phone out so far. It being so obvious that I was recording and now my sons are running back this way. What? One second. What? what I'm recording a video. What are you doing? Are you going to be out there? No, it's ah! too loud. Huh. Okay, run. Run, go play. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to make this video really quick is... Oh, now you can see me. Um, is because I wanted to kind of make the point that I could very easily have changed my story to fit anything that I wanted. One second. I, I could have very easily have concocted any kind of story I wanted. Um, I could have very easily have made up that I, in fact, had a miscarriage or that I could have had a stillbirth or that I could have lost the baby at some point in time and absorbed the baby um, or and absorbed the entire pregnancy so that there was no sign. You see, there was no evidence at all that I was pregnant whatsoever. Um... And my belly had continued to grow significantly and regularly and so if I had lost the baby why did my belly still keep growing and um, I mean there's just so many questions I could have assumed a lot of different things and I could have made up a lot of different stories but I myself decided to look at the facts that I had in front of me. My uterus was of normal shape and size. There was absolutely no sign whatsoever um, that I was pregnant at the time that I had the ultrasound or any time previous 
just because of the shape of my uterus there was no sign of a placenta amniotic fluid umbilical cord there was no sign that there was any kind of fetus growing in there or like a half of a fetus or like one sec one second my sons are coming back over the the results that my doctor reported to me to matched exactly what I saw because I actually got to view the ultrasound screen as she was scanning my uterus um, birth both during the abdominal ultrasound as well as the intra the intrauterine ultrasound that doesn't sound right anyways um you know what I mean right um, so I could have easily have made any story to fit what I wanted and continued to just tell myself that story and eventually it would have felt real um, in order to kind of deal with the embarrassment shame or guilt feeling that I had um, one second okay I have no idea where I left off. Um, so, I've had a lot of people come up with theories that they think have pos like alternate theories besides me not being pregnant and experiencing a phantom pregnancy. And a lot of it has to do with me absorbing the baby at some during some point during this this experience. Um, and my answer to that is always there is no evidence that suggests that whatsoever to me. Because if I even felt even close that that happened to me, then I would, I would definitely have said that um, and brought that forth and maybe even have brought awareness to that. But I really don't feel like that is what happened. I don't have any evidence to support that, um, because like I said, I was looking at the ultrasound, the, the actual screen as she was doing, the scans, and all I saw was an empty, insignificant uterus. I got tired of them out. <laughs> so, um, anyways, <laughs> that was a weird transition, sorry. Um, so if, yeah, like I said, if I would have had any evidence to support that, I definitely would have brought that to the attention of, and not only to these videos, but to anybody who asked me, um, I just don't really feel like that is my case. And that might be some women's case. Some women might possibly have a pregnancy that they... You know a pregnancy that is not truly confirmed either via urine test or blood test and somehow the pregnancy is lost the baby dies and is then absorbed by the mother and then the woman has an ultrasound and sees that or there hold on okay averted a crisis <clears throat> so yes, um, I very much could tell any story I wanted. I could have made up anything I wanted and that is what was really scary to me at the time that I got my negative ultrasound. Hold on. Okay. Um, so. So that was what was really scary to me at the time that I got my negative ultrasound was the fact that I could have made up any story that I wanted and who would have been able to prove me wrong besides maybe my husband who didn't even watch my YouTube channel at the time so he wouldn't even have known what I would have really even told the public and then I could have just told him whatever I decided to tell him and I don't even think he watches my channel now. So really, like, seriously, I could have made up anything. 
I lived in I live in a town where like I have no family besides my husband and his family and I'm not like they really didn't know about the situ situation whatsoever so at the time that I got my negative ultrasound I was just gonna tell my husband and my best friend slash sister who lives in Arizona so that's like I could have told her whatever I wanted to and I, I really could have told my husband whatever I wanted um, honestly he felt movement on the outside of my belly you know he put his hands there and he was able to feel something move around so that was very strange to him that when I came back and was like no I'm not pregnant he was kind of like what like so then what really happened like he was just as confused as I was point being is that I could have made up any story I wanted that's really scary if you really think about it and how many people do make up any story they want they you know how many people have all of the facts before they jump to conclusions of what is happening to their body and what they think is happening to their body or what they believe is happening to their body or what somebody has told them is happening to their body that's what's important is are you really believing what you feel are you believing what you've been told you're feeling because you've read a website and a bunch of women condone this behavior and these symptoms and they all agree that this is how it goes and this is what you feel and this is how you should feel so you know that's really something you have to ask yourself is how how am I deciding my feelings and and did this come what what symptoms did I have to begin with then before I started to Google possibly being pregnant maybe start there so I hope this video helps somebody I hope it's not too long I hope you made it to the end thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're having a great day be well uh, stay happy stay blessed bye